Skywatch Media News for August the 5th, 2020. In recent months, there has been a considerable amount of chatter across the Internet concerning a possible asteroid collision with the Earth in 2020. The focal point of the concern involves two asteroids that are approaching our planet in late summer and early fall, including a large space rock that everyone is eyeing that is scheduled to arrive in April of 2029 and that asteroid is being closely monitored by NASA. One of the space rocks that poses a threat is an asteroid dubbed 2011 ES4, which is expected to pass the Earth at a distance much closer than the Moon in the coming weeks. The asteroid size varies, but it is estimated to be between 82 and 160 feet in length. It is traveling at a speed of 18,253 miles per hour. If the data is correct, this would seem standard for a passing asteroid. But what actually caught the attention of so many people is not the size or the velocity of the space rock, but rather its proximity to the Earth at the time of its passage. It is going to be very close. Now, I have said many times in the past, that we have been very fortunate with respect to near-Earth objects. They have either been small enough to where they pose no real threat if they were to hit the Earth's atmosphere, or they have been far enough away to where they would have no chance of being pulled in by the Earth's gravity. According to NASA, the asteroid will fly by the Earth on September the 1st, and NASA has even posted a precise time for the flyby. It will happen at 10.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. According to projections, the asteroid will hurtle past our planet at a close distance of 0 .00048 astronomical units, which is equivalent to 44,618 miles. This is how close it will be according to data estimates. So if you figure the distance between the Earth and the Moon, one lunar distance is normally just shy of 239,000 miles. Then the astronomical measurements would place this asteroid within striking distance of the Earth. In fact, this asteroid will be so close that NASA has already deemed its proximity to be potentially hazardous, which means that scientists are carefully observing its movement for a possible collision with the Earth's atmosphere, although the agency has yet to list it as a threat to our planet because of its relatively small diameter. But don't let that fool you. Despite the absence of a probable threat, the asteroid is listed on NASA's Close Approaches database, according to the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. And it is the only one listed on their chart for the next 60 days that will approach at a very close distance. So although there may be little reason for immediate concern, it remains a potentially hazardous asteroid. Now here is something that you should be aware of when evaluating near-Earth objects, and I'm sure that many of you may already know this. Not all NEOs are what we would consider to be extremely close to the Earth. 2011 ES4 is one of those exceptions because of its close proximity. Actually, a comet or an asteroid is deemed as a near-Earth object if its approach brings a space rock within 1.3 astronomical units of the Sun. One of these units equals 93 million miles based on the mean distance between the Earth and the Sun. So the distance of 1.3 AU would not be close at all. Asteroid 2011 ES4 is an Apollo asteroid and therefore has a wide orbit around the Earth and the Sun. It has gotten much closer since its first discovery back in March of 2011. Back then it was about 5 million miles from the Earth. But in less than a month from now, it will have approached within 44,000 miles of our planet. And that is a real concern. Here is something else to keep in mind about this asteroid. Although its diameter is small in comparison to other hazardous asteroids, 
it could still pack quite a punch if it were to stray off course and strike the Earth. The Shelobinsk daytime asteroid is always a good comparison when discussing the potential impact of meteor events because it provides a vivid reminder of what damage a meteor blast can inflict on the Earth's surface. The Shelobinsk asteroid was just 59 feet in diameter, but when it exploded above the Earth's surface, it released 33 times the energy of the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. The blast injured 1,500 people as a result of shattered glass and burns to the skin due to the brightness of the explosion. Asteroid 2011 ES-4 is much larger than the Russian space rock of 2013, so the concern swirling around the incoming asteroid is real and should not be taken lightly. The second most likely asteroid to strike the Earth will happen on November 2nd of this year. Asteroid 2018 VP-1, a near-Earth object, is heading our way. But what exactly are the risk factors for this incoming space rock? This asteroid was discovered on November the 3rd of 2018, but unlike 2011 ES-4, this space rock is much smaller, measuring only 7 feet in length and 2 feet in width. The asteroid has a 1 in 240 chance of impacting Earth, which is quite high. But its small size means that it could disintegrate in the Earth's atmosphere before it reaches the ground. Despite the future projections for this asteroid, there is still a bit of uncertainty with respect to its orbital measurements, even though experts have said not to be concerned just yet. It is projected to come within 0 0.02 lunar distance of the Earth, which equates to 4,780 miles. Whether it will hit or miss the Earth is still a big question because its orbital path remains an uncertainty. But it's quite possible that this space rock may be influenced by the gravitational forces of the Earth and the Moon, which will allow it to be sucked into the Earth's atmosphere. Although every potentially hazardous asteroid is a concern for those who follow their movements, scientists are planning at this very moment for a big flyby that is scheduled to take place in less than nine years' time. On Friday the 13th of April, 2029, a speck of light will streak across the sky, getting brighter and faster as it approaches Earth. The ball of light is called Apophis, an asteroid 1,115 feet in length that is expected to brush the Earth at a distance of about 19,000 miles. Space rocks of this size rarely pass this close to our planet, and so this provides an opportunity for scientists to observe the asteroid using both optical and radar telescopes. Upon its flyby, the asteroid will look like a moving star, becoming visible to the naked eye over the southern hemisphere. It will move east to west across Australia, the Indian Ocean, Africa, and over the Atlantic. When Apophis was first discovered back in June of the year 2004, initial orbital calculations gave the asteroid a 2.7% chance of impacting Earth in the year 2029 but this was later ruled out. Current calculations still show a chance for an impact on Earth, but the ratio is now 1 in 150,000. Even with such low odds for the next flyby, Apophis is due to return our way once again in the year 2036. The main reason why scientists are keeping a close eye on this asteroid is because any close encounter with Earth will change the asteroid's orbit, possibly changing the spinning motion of the space rock, which could lead to various surface changes on Earth, such as avalanches or the formation of fissures. These are strange times in which we live, so please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and remember 
to keep looking to the sky.